Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I want to talk about this app that I think many people who study under i p a d will love, and it's called Dolphin Memorize. Many people, especially in Japan, study by using a rest sheet to cover their answers, but this app lets you do all that just on your iPad. If you just load up a PDF file, all of the red text will disappear, and you can make it visible by moving the screen. If you're a student, definitely check this app. You just need your iPad to study from now on. So please watch this video until the end. Let's go ahead and open the app Dolphin Memorize. Once it's open, you can see all the PDFs you've loaded up. Just go ahead and select one. You can tell that now there is a red sheet spread over the bottom half of the page, and all the red text is gone. Dolphin Memorize is just an app for memorization, so we'll be making our notes in a different app. There is a really popular note taking app called Notability, and we'll be using this to make our study notes today. And I'll show you how to take our notes from Notability to Dolphin Memorize. For example, here we have a Spanish vocab sheet. I'm actually interested in learning about the human body, so I've been doing a lot of studying on that, making train materials and stuff on the side. Here you can make the parts you want to study red. I also have some pictures in my notes to make it easier to understand. To take these notes to Dolphin Memorize, we are going to press the share button. This will bring up a bunch of options, but we are going to press the one at the bottom, label ad apps. This lets us save the file in a PDF format. So we'll press share notes and finish. After this, you'll be asked which app you want to open the file in. So here we go with the option others, and lots of different apps will show up. And now go ahead and find Dolphin Memorize. It's right here. Select it, and it will automatically open Dolphin Memorize and load a PDF file. Open it, and there we go. We have a red sheet, and all the orange parts are invisible. By scrolling down with your finger, you can memorize these words one by one. But Dolphin Memorize is just this red sheet tool. It's got a bunch of other features as well, so let's talk about them. You can see that there is a lot of different options at the bottom of the screen. For example, if we take the brush tool from this eraser button on the left side and color all the places we want to see, it will temporarily make the orange text visible. This is super useful, right? So, if you just want to take a quick peek at something, try this out. Let's talk about some of the other tools. You can see that there are two rows of buttons at the bottom. We are going to be using the bottom row pretty often. The button on the left side here is r e s h i mode, and you can make the r e s h i disappear, show it on the half of the page, or show it on the entire page. Besides this, on the right, we have a few more buttons. The ones that are grayed out, these are the edit mode buttons. They let you adjust some parts of the PDF. They can be actually a bit tricky to use, so I'll go ahead and explain them a little. On the far left here, we have the check mark tool. For example, when you're going back over your notes, you can double tap the screen. This will insert a really smart check mark symbol in the document, as you can see. We can even change the color by tapping it. Go ahead and double tap to put this wherever you like. After this, let's go back to rest sheet mode. You can see that even when we are on this mode, the check mark button is still enabled. With this, if you press the red check mark button on the top row, the document will skip to where you have those check marks, like this. It's really fast. And then when you get to the last one, it will send you back up to the first. This will let you go back quickly to spots that you want to look at again. I only have red check marks right now, but if you put some blue check marks, go back to r e s h i mode. And then press the blue check mark button, you can skip to the parts with blue check marks too. And when you want to erase these check marks, you press the button on the far right, which is the delete button. From here, just pick anything. Let's go with the eraser button today. If you select them and press down on the check marks, 
they will disappear. Next up is the second edit mode from the left, the marker tool. Lots of note taking apps have this sort of thing. You just draw where you want to highlight something, and you can see the marker effect. This can be pretty interesting. If you look at the bottom here, you see there are two buttons that look like A put in boxes. This will let you choose whether or not to see the text in Reshi mode. It's a bit hard to explain. First, let's try highlighting something with this A button enable. Then we press the second button, the box, which is pretty invisible mode. Let's highlight something with this invisible marker. Right now it looks like they are the same, right? The letters behind the highlights are completely visible. But when we spread the rest sheet, this will change. If we switch to rest sheet mode, we can still see the parts we highlighted with the normal highlighter, but the letters we highlighted with the invisible one are gone. It's almost like whiteout. This is the difference between the visible and invisible highlighters. If you want to add extra parts to memorize in a document you've already loaded, this could be useful. Next is the third button from the left in edit mode, which is the text tool. This is for when you want to add text, not handwriting. Just double tap the screen and the text input tool will pop up. For example, if you write on the test and put it in, it will tell you that this part is really important. If you want to move the text, you press the button on the far right. I know I said this was a eraser tool before, but it's actually the magic tool, so sorry about that. But with this magic tool, you press the move tool, the middle button, and then draw around the text. This will select the text which lets you move it around. You normally can just touch and move it around, but using this magic tool lets you move it freely and change the size. The next one is the fourth from the left, that's the pen tool. This is for when you want to put some handwriting. Choose the size and color of your brush, and then go ahead and write whatever you want, text or drawings. This pen tool also has visible and invisible options. Right now I'm writing on invisible mode. So if we switch to the rest sheet mode right now, all of this blue writing will disappear. And this is because I'm using the pen on invisible mode. And if you write something on invisible mode, you can still see the letters even after you switch to the rest sheet mode. So once you can make use of these modes well, it will definitely help you study more efficiently. So definitely spend some time getting to know these features. Last up is the right mouse button. This is the link tool. This lets you jump throughout the page. First, there is this button labeled page at the bottom here. Click on it and you can choose which page to go to. I just selected page 3. After this, you can just double tap anywhere on the current page. You can see that there is this little link icon. And you're done! Then we just hop over to the rest sheet mode, press the icon, and we can jump over to page 3. And that's how you do it. Let's do it one more time. We first choose which page exactly you want to go to, and then press the link icon. Now we got it to jump to page 1. Then you press the link icon on the rest sheet mode, you hop over to page 1. If you put links throughout like this, you can tell your future self to go back and read related material from before. So it's pretty cool. We've got a bunch of different things in our notes now, but if you switch to the rest sheet mode, it all disappears, making it easier to read. But please give it a try and see. And that was my introduction to Dolphin Memorize. Isn't the app really cool? I've actually talked about a similar app before, but the app I talk about today, Dolphin Memorize, is like the version 2.0 of that app. I believe they come from the same developer, but Dolphin Memorize is a lot easier to use and it has lots more features. It does have enough purchases though. It seems like the amount of PDF files you can load in the free version is limited. So if you think you're gonna use this a lot, they also have standard and pro versions, so I suggest starting with the standard version. And that's all for today. If you're a student, definitely give it a try. 
This is one of the apps I wish I had when I was a student. I didn't have anything like this. So I'm kind of jealous of students who can study on their iPads nowadays. It's not just for students, but also working professionals and anyone who wants to learn something new. So please give it a try. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad, so please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.